Hi guys, Otto Rapper here, and today I am going to show you how to do um, this creative book cover. I got the idea to do this yesterday when I was um, making um, some of those crayons where you melt your crayons and you get like little discs. Hold on, I'll show you. like these. So, um, while I was cleaning up after that, um, project, I noticed we had a lot of paper crayon wrappers, because, you know, we had to peel it off the little snubbies of, um, crayons to melt them down. And I was like, is there anything we could do with these so we won't just have to throw them away? Because I feel like there's something we could do with them. And I went on YouTube to try to find something to do with them. And I couldn't find anything to do with the wrappers. Because everyone was so focused on the content of the wrapper everybody usually just throws the wrapper away so I was like okay I'm gonna think of something to do with this so I just taped little bits of wrapper to this book cover and I think it turned out really cool I really like the way it turned out so anyway enough backstory let's get on with the main production okay what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a little memo pad notebook um, any notebook will do, just you're going to need more wrappers if you have a bigger notebook. And, um, <coughs> pardon me, um, and I recommend just getting a plain colored one, like this, so you're not covering up like a cute design, like donuts or something. Yeah, so get a plain colored one. They're cheaper and also you won't be covering up a fun design already. Okay, and of course, you're going to need some tape. And you're going to need, of course, crayon wrappings. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let me just dump out my crayon wrappers here. I definitely have a lot smaller pieces of wrapper this time around, so it might take a little bit longer for me to cover this entire cover for... One just went like flying at the camera. Anyway, <coughs> so after you have gathered up your little crayon wrappers, you want to put them in a pile so they're all together and stuff. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your notebook and, um, take one of the little wrappers try to find a big piece to start out because that'll start you off good I'm gonna go with this one and I like to start off up in the upper right hand corner right here um, and I'm just gonna hold on let me get a better view yes. there we go okay get some tape Okay, and I think I just folded the tape on itself. Okay, um, anyway. So what you want to do is you want to take the tape and put it on the edge right here, like so. 
and then take the cover and separate it from the other pages so you don't tape <coughs> your book shut. Then just arrange it so it covers the edge. Now because it takes more tape to tape off the rest of the wrapper. So it'll be nice and shiny when it's all done. So that's what you got thus far. And, and then you just keep on doing that until you cover the whole notebook. Notice how I'm taking just a little bit extra tape so I can curve off the edges like so. And also if there are little like pieces coming off of the thing, I'll tape those down too. Because it adds to the overall look. And you'll notice that I have some pieces overlapping on my original one. So let them overlap. It adds a nice touch. I try to do the f do it so the flat edge of the wrappers are up against the flat edge of the notebook. So that's what it looks like so far, and then you're just continuing taping the wrappers in rows until you've covered the entire notebook, like this one. And this is the one that I made yesterday, and it looks really cool. I really like it. It has not a lot of nice, a lot of nice color. I cannot talk today. And I really like how it turned out, and I hope you guys enjoy making this, and I will see you next time. Bye!